Alrighty, we're going to take a look at installing and configuring OBS MIDI for Windows. So first we're going to go to github.com slash cpyarver slash OBS dash MIDI and we're going to go over here to releases. We're then going to go down to Windows Installer.exe, click on that and download the installer. We're then going to Click on the installer. Click more info. Run anyways. It's going to pop up a security asking if you want this app to make changes. Click yes. The installer will pop up next. And it's just next. Install and finish. Then if you load up OBS. Notice this is 3588FF7. Go in here, OBS MIDI settings, 3588FF7. You can click on your device, click enabled, click configure. You can then click listen one to listen to one event, or listen many and listen to many events. And then you can take and say take uh, this one right here and we will set volume media source and add mapping let's see new mapping show up in white there's media source running right now I'm not sure if this is the right media source okay it's not so we'll go over here back into the one that we were in. Eh, let's look at this one. Media source. Up and down. There we go. So you can see that mapping now works. Alright, so we'll go to OBS MIDI settings. Let's try listening to that one and setting it to something. Mapping already exists for number one. You can see that. Control change one. Or channel 11. Blah, blah blah already exists so we can't map that so you'll notice it automatically jumped up there and then if we click here it'll jump to that one that one move the transition bar only happens in studio mode but see we jump there jump there so if you press the button that's already mapped it'll be thrown in there you can click on mapping and hit delete mapping and it will take that action out and there you go now you know how to install and configure OBS MIDI on Windows.